guys welcome back to another episode of m crater lore so today what we're going to be working on is basically uh touching up some of the furnace textures uh the furnace textures that we made were pretty good but um i want to expand the uh basically the the way that it's designed for the blocks and stuff so it's not so um repetitive uh it was uh, suggested by somebody in the community to basically work on the textures so i wanted to give it a good quick um update on some of the textures and stuff so alongside of basically uh having the uh, borders and stuff i wanted to get rid of some of these borders and then basically add uh more of an outline for some of these things for example um the ends here uh, for example like this I want to make sure that these are actually designed in a way uh, that will be more like strips so I'm going to kind of design it like this and then we're going to be adding bricks along the edge of the corners of the 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 kiln itself so basically what will happen is it will kind of give a, a line per row of the blocks. Now these blocks will actually connect uh, based on a tick update. Uh, there was some texturing issues on, I believe this part right here. So I had to clean up this, just kind of uh, fix up this part and uh, basically go ahead and draw in these. Well, I think I copied them in um, or something like that, but I just copied over that and then we had that part set up so that will basically repeat uh downwards not that we need it to repeat downwards but it is a uh, seamless texture and then i wanted to work on the part that's here so basically i need to make a outline this will be more for a center block and i'm just basically trying to match the um texture uh that is in the center of the the thing because I know that will be seamless and then we can just kind of merge kind of mend in the parts that are the different colors and stuff so basically right now I'm just kind of detailing it a little bit uh, just to make sure that it's all seamless and I just wanted to I'm not sure if I double checked if it was seamless I'm pretty sure I did yeah so it is seamless it looks pretty good and then we can move on to the next thing so uh, I'm gonna. I've been basically making um, new, um, new uh, profile things for, or tabs for each texture that we're making. So, then we need the left side, or pardon me, the right side for the bricks. So we're going to go ahead and basically paste that over here. So we have the left side, and that will give us the basics for basically this one so it won't exactly stack uh, be right next to each other it would never be in that scenario for it to connect like that but um, I did need uh, a right side bricks uh, for the opposite side of the kiln so and then I wanted the bottom one so kind of like a bottom border so basically what this will do is it will allow us to go ahead and detail some of the border parts so I wanted to make a bordered bottom texture and a bordered top texture so basically this is kind of what I'm working on so this will be the center one for the center border bottom and we might end up updating the furnace texture as well uh, later on in another episode but right now I just want to get the base mechanics set up so uh, that would be the top one, so the top center, and then we need a couple other ones for the bottom. So, uh, for example, the left side, I believe we need a bottom one here, so we would end up doing... Uh, I, there's parts in here where I basically was uh, trying to process how to do all this so I wanted to make a both a top and bottom uh, this will basically allow us to make a ledge a along the top of the kiln itself uh, this will be pr pretty important when we're actually designing the um, the actual kiln itself I think it will be a good outline around the top to give the top a little bit more dimension the I'm, I'm going to go with like a, a brick 
call like a brick uh, outline for the the foundation though uh, so it will be kind of match the bottom of the kiln itself and then we needed a corner um, texture so I was basically just trying to get that part all settled so this is basically the corner part I'm not sure how it's going to match up with the textures um, I didn't actually measure that today there might be some things that need to be tweaked a little bit but we'll see uh, how it turns out um, when I get some stuff sorted out so that's the corner piece for the um, top there for the ledge and we're going to need a new tab for that so I'm just basically touching up some of these parts in here just to make sure everything's nice and fancy and then I basically made a new tab pasted it in there and then what I was working on is uh, I needed a end piece as well so uh, an end piece would basically be just like uh, basically like this so we would basically have our end piece like that and this will give us uh, basically um, parts there's like two parts that we'll need end pieces for um, one at the next well both are next to the ladder so and then i need it i was tr starting to think at this point okay so that's um that's all those pieces i need uh something else so i was i was basically looking at a drawing that i made um on paper i was just trying to figure out what i needed and i i remembered i needed um the bricks for the bottom and um the left bottom and the left or left top as well as the uh right top and right bottom uh textures so i was basically going ahead and just naming these quickly and once i got that done i was i basically moved into um, because I didn't want to lose the work just in case anything happened to the workspace, right? So I was just saving up things. And yeah, and then I, I remembered that I needed the, uh, the actual, um, bottom pieces. I think it was about this point when I started realizing it, um, because I was typing out the name and I'm like, hold on a second, I might need a bottom one. So I basically went ahead and started working on these uh the names for them yeah i do think we should update the furnace texture especially the on version i want to see if i can't get a better fire texture going on there and uh it could use like the new design for the bottom base center part so we'll probably update that in the future um especially the flames and stuff we'll see if we can't use the minecraft fire uh color palette um, and we'll see if we can't get the flames or something to work. Uh, alternatively, what we could do is we could import the uh, texture for fire from the base game without needing to actually import the resource. And we can overlay it probably a little bit. We'll have to manipulate the textures a little bit, but it should be possible. It just needs a little bit of layers. So I might be able to see if I can't create a 3d model uh, that we can manipulate the textures in a way that will work that way but we'll see what we can come up with so basically this is the um, texture that I was working on for the uh, left bottom so I was just just giving it a name and uh, updating it I think I might have replaced some of the names by accident so I was basically filling this part up this should be the top and then I needed basically that part. So that was the top, uh, the right uh, top part. And then we needed the bottom right. And at that point, I was I think there was all the textures that I needed. Uh, um, if we need to make more, then we will. But um, Last thing that I wanted to do is make a foundation for the textures and I thought I was thinking it over and I'm going okay uh, do I 
have anything that I could actually work on. And I'm going, well, the base is going to be brick. So I thought maybe using brick would be good for the actual base itself. So I didn't actually have that part of the drawing or anything like that. It was just kind of like a sketch more or less. But um, I decided to go with the brick for the foundation so we can use that for the model and stuff. All right, so that's all the textures that I needed. Um, everything else should be basically updating um, for, we'll have to tweak the um, layout for the building and stuff, but um, it should be pretty easy next episode to create all these blocks. Uh, I'm just going to import all of them right now, and then we'll be good for next episode when we go ahead and import, um, or start making the blocks and stuff. So those are all our textures. And uh, outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.